everyone, I'm Louie and this is my Pity William. We live full time in my self-converted vintage Aerostar and are traveling the world, well, currently only the US. For the next few months, we will be living, working, and exploring in the southern United States, hoping to debunk stereotypes, learn some history, and eat some good southern food. Oh, and did I mention my mom and her pup are also along for the ride. Thanks for watching and subscribe to find out where we end up each week. And a special thank you to all my patrons and an extra thank you to my patrons who pledged in the better recognized tier and up. Hey guys, so I've been watching a lot of videos of people who live in SUVs and small minivans and I'm just so amazed by the minimalism that people, like the extent of minimalism that people live by and I'm feeling really inspired right now to get rid of more of my stuff, donate it, sell it if I can and give it away. So that is what we're going to do today. We are at Lower Hillsboro Campground here in Florida and... It's time to get rid of stuff, man. I just feel like there's too, I have too much stuff and I use the same five things every day. So I want to commit to minimalism in a far more extreme way than I've ever committed before. So despite living in the tiniest space that I could possibly find <laughs> and afford, I still have so much stuff. So we're gonna take everything out and lay it here on this mat and figure out what I actually need. And you're coming along for the journey. So I have stuff everywhere. I have stuff in there, I have stuff in there, I have stuff in there, stuff in there, stuff in here, stuff all in there, in there. And the majority of it I don't ever use, like not even like once a month. Like it's just sitting there for no good reason. And it's taken up my mental space. Even though it's just sitting there, it just feels like the space is a lot more clunkier and like uh, there's just way too much stuff like I really need to make room for all of my electronic stuff like I just have all this stuff here that I want to make space for and just like have that specific space my electronic stuff and my filming stuff is the stuff I use the most so why am I not finding a specific place to keep them safe and uh, stored so So I've emptied pretty much everything and it's becoming very apparent that I need to do a deep cleaning. There is dust and dirt everywhere, so that's what we're gonna do. I mean, just, that's so much stuff. And then there's a couple things in here, but I should probably, maybe I should put those out there too, just for posterity. Posterity. And like, there are things in here that need to be fixed or have warped since we've come to a more um, wet and arid area, wet area, so. Don't mind the generator in the background of my, uh, some of our uh, camping neighbors, but I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, how in the world do I have this much stuff? How have I acquired this much stuff that I don't even use? Like, I feel like I try to be like the antithesis of like, societal norms and consumerism and like materialism but still somehow in my small van I have managed to fill every nook and cranny of it somehow <laughs> you're just like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we really gotta yeah I'm excited to dive in here I gotta channel my inner Marie Kondo and really just like think about like what actually is like, you know, like needed. <laughs> Manage your mischief. Manage my mischief. And like, seriously, like I don't even need all the clothes I have. Like I have, I wear the same thing pretty much like three days in a row and then I move <laughs> on to the next outfit. I'm like, okay, it's soiled enough. Time to move on to the next day, next thing. But yeah, it's time to, it's time to get rid of all this stuff. I just want to be free. I just want the, the absolute feeling of freedom. I think the one that I want to tackle is this basket right there. There's a lot of stuff in there that I don't need. Yeah. Yep. That'll be the first job. This is a perfect example of an item. Like, do you really need a wine cork spout thing? <laughs> in a van. In a van. Like, do I really need this? How often do I drink wine? I think I've bought a bottle, one bottle of wine in the past, like, six months. So. <laughs> How often do you need that? And if you need to close it, just put the cork back in it. There are just so many unnecessary items in this world. Like, yeah, this is a great idea. It's awesome if you have the space for it, but 
why? Just why? Like, we have to like put ourselves in that mindset. <laughs> Maybe I'm just thinking too hard about this, but I just think this is like a useless item. It's extra, it's excess. It's feeding into the whole tenets and the ideals of materialism. Like you need this item to do this thing. It's like, no, you don't. Mm -hmm. You really don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're laughing. True that. You think that's true? Yes. Yeah. So that is what we're gonna try to combat today. Combat. Combat it. <laughs> <laughs> I do really feel very emotional about these tools, but because like they're my, my first set of my own tools. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really need them. So it's like, how much do you think I could get for them? Probably like a hundred bucks at least, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, you'll have to look up what the set is. But I would be able to make some money off of them. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the thing about items, is people get so emotional about, like, mm -hmm. items. Because, like, they mean something to you, you know? Yeah. When it's like, they're just inanimate objects, they don't really do anything. I mean, maybe they, like, help you remember a memory, but does every item have to do that for you? Yeah. Does every item have to mean that? So I'm creating a pile for all my stuff to donate, and then a pile for all of the trash. And then, this is my electronics pile. And then a pile of stuff that I think I need, but potentially won't keep, but I'll go through it again. And then this is the stuff that I'm gonna sell. I So I separated the stuff that I used in the cabinet and thrown away old expired gross stuff and emptied some containers into more jars. But the problem is I have all these spices that I never use. And I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. I think you're gonna take a couple, right? Yeah. Cool. William, are you wondering what's happening? We're getting there. Now I'm gonna go through the dishes. But so that's gonna be my cabinet stuff here. For now, pantry things. So here's my thought process for all of the dishes. So I really only need one type of plate. I need, so maybe two of a plate two of a bowl. I have two cutting boards. I don't need two cutting boards. I just need one cutting board. So that's going away. I love these metal plates. I'm going to keep the metal plates. I don't need these tiny dishes. Like that's not very useful. And my logic here is that when I'm like when I've made a meal and then afterwards if I have dishes in the sink but there's a dish that I can already use without having to wash the dishes before I use it, I always just leave the dishes and then the dishes just pile up. So I'm trying to basically trick myself into always keeping the dishes clean and if I'm gonna use a dish, why don't I just wash the dish before I use the dish? I don't know if this sounds just like not very smart, but uh, that, that is what I'm doing. I'm having a hard time for sure. Um, I've definitely narrowed it down to the obvious stuff now, but it just still feels like so much stuff. Right there is all the stuff that I just feel like it's obvious to have. And then that stuff over there I still kind of have to go through and decide, but... And then, this is how much I've got. This is, uh, this is all of the donation stuff, and that's all of the trash that I've come up with so far. Then over there is all of <laughs> my tools and building stuff which I don't really need but it just feels like you need it. I have this mindset of like scarcity right now I think that's what it is. Yeah. Like feeling like I have if I if I give it away I'll never be able to have that item again you know and like the f true fact is like I'm probably never gonna use it anyways so it's like it's like this weird feeling within myself where I have to like get over like feeling like you need to have stuff to feel safe and like comfortable you know the stuff that like you're we you have to unlearn and I consider myself a pretty minimalist and I'd say probably most of you guys consider me a minimal minimalist but it still just is so painful <laughs> it still is hard to feel secure with very little it's our American way maybe I should follow the 150 item rule sure. that would be hard but it would be probably so worth it I feel like those people, they don't count, like, spices 
condition. You know. What but I mean? like, how many spices do you think they actually carry? They probably just they like probably don't carry they any. just cook what they're gonna be cooking. Like, I'm gonna make. Say you're like, oh, I'm gonna make like some spicy noodles or something. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna get like the chili for it, and then I'm just gonna keep making that until it's gone. Exactly. Like that's you have to change the your way mindset. You live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like you don't need more. Mm -hmm. well, that's you I don't need more. I feel like that's what we should be doing to get rid of the spices that we have and love is like in the in the doubles that we have it's yeah. just like okay this week we're gonna do curry theme or this week and we're, we're just gonna, gonna do... eat all the eat this until it's gone exactly you know because then you're not wasting it either just yeah it. stuff really seems to build up over time if you don't get in there and do a deep clean at least every month or so. It's kind of wild how much crud collects. I found gold in my cleaning process. Yay! Ooh, Ooh so clean. I'm blue, ba da dee da da Ooh. Yeah, that's messing down there. There's leftover hot Cheetos down here. Much, much better. That was bad before. Yay! Then there's this guy. So dirty. Alrighty, got a little photo. Now it's time to put all of the stuff back. I'd say I did pretty well. Well, I'm exhausted and glad that's over. That was a lot of organizing and moving things in and cleaning and everything but it was well worth it everything is so organized now and i have like way less stuff in here so now all i gotta do is donate stuff probably find a donation center somewhere in tampa and then i'm going to sell a couple things and hopefully sell my tools and um, an old midi controller thing and make some cash and yeah and then i had a lot of just old trash stuff which is horrible but i'm going to start thinking a lot harder about the stuff that i'm bringing inside this van i want to be like truly a minimalist i want to live by like more eco terms uh, as much as possible i mean I do already try to be very eco-friendly and like choose products that are natural and all of that, but you, no one's perfect. No one's 100% perfect and there's no such thing as like 100% perfect zero waste. So it's just a matter of holding yourself accountable and trying to make changes in the places you can. So that is the plan. I'm not going to buy any more things in, unless it's food or like a toiletry slash like household item like a sponge or um, like cleaning stuff so that is the plan it already feels so much more light in here when I open the cabinets now it's like I don't I'm not like looking at a bunch of stuff it just and feeling overwhelmed when I open it is like I know exactly what's in there and so I probably will end up getting more stuff rid of more stuff and I'm going to really be trying to use up all of the toiletry products I have before I buy new ones like using all my lotions and like face washes and like try not to have two of anything because what's the point in that all right food time that's what we need Cooking, cooking dinner. Cooking, cooking dinner. You've been eating tofu a lot with the sweet baby Ray's buffalo ring sauce on it. Super good. Normally we put um, cornstarch in with everything and then it really makes it just super crunchy and delicious, but we don't have that right now. We're all out. See, like already at the flow of this just makes so much more sense like I'm just able to find stuff in here a lot easily more easily except I can't find huh, the salt 
Where is the salt? Yum. Hey, good morning, guys. So we got a good night rest last night after um, taking care of business. Oh, and we took a shower. I want to show you guys our shower setup because um, I've shown you how we shower like within our pants. I want to show you how we shower when we are out in nature and have a place to set up a little tent. This is our shower tent. Got to show them the shower tent. And then you go inside and you can hang a shower bag. We used to, like a solar shower bag there. I used to hang it there, but now we use this guy. Yeah, you shower in there. Very simple, there's like little things to hang your stuff. Where did you get this, sh mom? Where did you get the shower tent? Walmart. Nice. I got to dump all of my composting toilet and it's about been about three months since I've changed it so it's pretty full. So it's time for me to dump all of that and then I need to put in new coconut core and get that all wet and nice and use my mom's <laughs> foldable bucket. It's nice to have your mom along with you because <laughs> she always has the stuff you need. So I'm going to do that and my cleaning of the van will be complete. This is my least favorite thing to do in the van. We figured out our shower situation. We figured it out pretty much everything, power, everything. But the one thing I despise the most in the van is having to change out the dookie. <laughs> the composted dookie. <laughs> but the thing about it is I only do it every three months because, you know, just like for myself, that's like the best amount of time. And yeah, so like four times a year I gotta do this, basically. This is my third time, and I don't know if you can hear that generator in the background, but I despise another generators. <laughs> you know, it's not too bad. So now, what you're gonna want to get yourself is two plastic bags. I got these at Walmart. These like large trash bags, they're cheap, they're like 99 cents. And then I take two of them to hold all of the weight and then I'll show you what I do. Like so. And then, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do this for the Yeah, please. Hit <laughs> your like, please. And then, yeah, pick it up. Pick it up with your chicken arms. Dump it all in the bag. And voila! Also, there didn't get anything on my gloves, um, but thankfully. But now, there's a little bit of coconut core still left in there, so I'll probably try to break that up a little bit by like pounding the toilet seat bottom thing and then add more coconut core. It's pretty easy, and I'll show you how to do that. Guys, is William getting old? Look at his. William. He's like, don't call me old. He's getting gray around his little eyes and his snout now. You're gonna, he's like seven years old now. And I was looking up, that's a senior dog. Everyone's gotta grow up. Just a cycle of life. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing that he's growing older. It is. But it's also kind of sad because we were looking at pictures of William when he was a little puppy. I'll insert a picture here for your liking. <laughs> but he was so cute. I mean, he's still cute, obviously, but he was so, he was wild. He was a wild puppy. We tried to learn, teach him how to create, like how to create him. And so we would like leave him in the house oh for like a couple God. hours while we went grocery shopping or something. Like when we first got him. And then he would like gnaw out of the crate. Boy's a human. He's not a dog, he's a human. <laughs> he was like, oh hell to the He's like, how dare they leave me? But that's what happens because he was probably left behind and like he has a dog anxiety. That's, And then, you know, he's left at a shelter or like left in a field and then they found him. Like, I could imagine that would be kind of scary, huh? Like, <laughs> he's playing it up. Oh my God, he does. <laughs> Mom's working on a project. 
the glue has to <laughs> glue dry. in some stuff to the side. I like that. That looks nice. Isn't it cool? Mm -hmm. Once the glue's dry, it won't show, hopefully. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Back to the dookie game. All right. Coconut core time. How much did you put in yours, Mom? I put... William's like, what is that? I filled that bucket. I didn't fill it all the way because you know how it way. expands, but it was pretty much that bucket full, filled after it was expanded. expanded yeah. Oh, God damn it. So and I'm just going to break this. Yeah, this particular one. Because normally you just take the whole block and then you just uh -huh. you put all of it in. It's going to make a little bit of a mess, but we're going to clean up. Oh, so this is coconut peat. Well, it's peat, it's coconut core. It's used for gardening, but we're going to use it for our dookie. <laughs> I'm just saying that word because my mom hates that word. I'm going to fill this bucket to be half full, and then you want to break it down really well because otherwise it'll get stuck in your toilet when, toilet bottom, when you're like trying to like turn it, turn the little wheel on it, and that is no good. The reason why I like gardening is because you get to be dirty. Yeah. You get to like play in the dirt and it's fine. Like it's accept socially accepted <laughs> to be like dirty. You want scissors? Do you have scissors? Yeah, that I could use. I just like stab this? it. That's fine. <laughs> you just stab it. Yeah, break off pieces. Oh, there we go. Oh yes. Okay, so we're learning how we're learning how to teach people how to do this as we teach people how to uh, do this. Lesson learned though. Next time, block those. Yeah, I get the the smaller blocks. Okay, so when we first got the composting toilets, I did a bunch of research about what the best option. Oh, next time, mom, we should buy um hemp. Okay. So I did a bunch of research about like which one is like actually the most environmentally mentally friendly, and peat moss is really bad for the environment if you didn't already know it like basically they t take it from like bogs in Europe it, it might be in somewhere in Europe I think and it basically messes with the ecosystem of a bog and then coconut core is made in India and I'm remembering recalling all of this correctly it's made in India and so it is definitely done with like cheap labor and like a lot of water there's a lot of water to make coconut core so at the end of the day it's like is it really technically like eco-friendly so then I did more research and if you buy hemp core that is the best option because people are already farming hemp and it's basically the waste product of farming hemp so um, that's the best option it's very hard to obtain especially for us because it can be really difficult to find. So anyways, back to the hemp talk. It's the most eco-friendly way of um, using one of these composting toilets. So I think next time we should definitely buy some hemp core, Mom. Let's do it. Now that we know how to use general delivery and everything. Yeah. And it's like actually not that expensive, like compared to like how much it costs to buy this and then have it shipped and stuff. It's pretty comparable. So yeah, we could try it and see how it goes, but yeah. That is the best way to, most yeah. eco-friendly way to use a composting toilet because apparently it's, they, they sell it as something that's super eco-friendly but it's not the most eco-friendly thing in the world. Unless you're using a good type of, what would you call this? Medium. I'll just call it a, a toilet, a composting toilet medium. Composting medium. So yeah, we're getting pretty close to finishing this all of this extra stuff and put it in there. Doop. And the water. And then wait for it to grow. I put a good amount of water in there because it needs it. Oh my gosh, it's already growing. Did you break it down into little pieces? Yeah. enough like that's definitely enough yeah yeah it expanded so I only filled it halfway mm -hmm. I only now filled it halfway and then it now we're just gonna dump it in our little toilet and then we're good yep 
and it goes. So you want to fill it in the inside. There's this little like turny thing, like a mixer thing. You want the mixer to be flat and then you want it to be just cover that and then that's enough. Yay! Just use some whites to clean it down and there you have it. A very clean toilet. All right, so William and I are going to enjoy our clean van and hang out in here and get some work done. So I will see y'all in the next video. I hope this video could be inspiring to you and your journey with downsizing and um, learning what stuff is important to you and what stuff you like actually want to keep around and like spend your money on. So I hope this has been inspiring and helpful and <laughs> William. William's just a lump on a log. And yeah, so I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.